Royal Mail, the UK's postal service, has been facing a series of challenges in recent years, such as declining letter volumes, rising competition, COVID-related staff absences and strikes over pay and conditions. To cope with these difficulties, the company has announced several restructuring and cost-cutting measures that could have a significant impact on its employees and pensioners. One of the main measures is to reduce its workforce by around 10,000 full-time equivalent roles by August 2023. This includes cutting around 700 management jobs, which the company said would save around £40 million a year. The company also axed a fifth of its managers, around 2,000 posts, in June 2020. The job cuts are expected to incur a charge of £70 million for the company. Another measure is to freeze pay for all employees except frontline workers for the current financial year. The company said this was necessary to protect its cash flow and liquidity amid the pandemic. However, this decision has sparked anger among the unions, who have rejected the company's offer to increase wages by up to 9% over 18 months. The unions have also accused the company of reneging on a previous agreement to improve working conditions and modernize the service. The dispute between Royal Mail and its unions has led to several strikes across the country, affecting the delivery of letters and parcels. The company said the strikes have costed about £200 million in the first nine months of the fiscal year and have damaged its reputation and customer satisfaction. The strikes have also attracted the attention of the regulator, Ofcom, which has warned that it may impose fines on Royal Mail if it fails to meet its delivery targets. The strikes have also put pressure on Royal Mail's pension scheme, which has about 140,000 members. The company said it has been paying more than £400 million a year into the scheme, which is currently in surplus. However, it warned that the surplus could turn into a deficit if the strikes continue or worsen. The company said it is committed to maintaining a defined benefit pension scheme for its employees, but it may have to review its contributions if the situation does not improve. The restructuring and cost-cutting measures are part of Royal Mail's strategy to transform itself into a more efficient and profitable business that can compete in the digital age. The company said it aims to reduce its operating losses from around £400 million in 2023 to break even by 2025. It also hopes to increase its parcel revenue by 40% by 2025, as online shopping continues to grow. However, these measures come at a price for Royal Mail's employees and pensioners, who may face job losses, pay freezes, reduced benefits and uncertain futures. The company said it will consult with the unions and try to minimize the impact on its staff, but it also said it will not compromise on its vision and goals. The question is whether Royal Mail can achieve its transformation without losing the trust and loyalty of its workforce. Royal Mail is undergoing a major digital transformation and innovation plan to adapt to the changing market and customer needs. The plan involves several key initiatives that could benefit its customers and partners, such as, automating and digitizing parcel sorting and delivery processes. Royal Mail aims to increase the percentage of parcels sorted by machine from 33% to 80% by 2023 to 24, and add two new dedicated parcel hubs with fully automated parcel sortation machinery. This could improve efficiency, accuracy, and speed of parcel delivery, as well as reduce costs and environmental impact. Enhancing IoT technology to manage thousands of devices and assets. Royal Mail is using robotic process automation RPA, to automate some of its routine, repetitive transactional processes, such as accounts receivable. It is also rolling out scan-in, scan-out technology to replace handwritten sign-in sheets in all sites. This could improve data quality, visibility, and traceability across the network, as well as free up staff time for higher value work. Improving customer experience and personalization through digital tools. Royal Mail has added new capabilities to its app, such as booking a home collection, sending items, tracking items, receiving notifications, changing delivery options, finding a drop-off location, and viewing photos of a safe place delivery. It is also using cloud tools to leverage its 1.4 billion data points daily to provide better, personalized service to its customers. 
This could increase customer satisfaction, loyalty, and retention, as well as generate new revenue streams. These are some of the ways that Royal Mail's customers and partners could benefit from its digital transformation and innovation plans. By embracing technology and innovation, Royal Mail is aiming to become a parcels company that also delivers letters and provide value-added services to its stakeholders.